Orphan Black. This is season five, episode eight of Orphan Black. Its title is Guillotines Decide. Let's do it. I love Mrs. S when she just holds a gun and looks fierce. Don't take the elevator, Rachel. In case of emergency, take the stairs. I can't think of more of an emergency than your eye being missing. What's getting put in your head, girl? Oh, wait for it, chicken. Finally, Felix is back. Seriously, it was too long. I don't trust you, Gracie. When did the mark die? Two weeks ago. Liar! You don't trust me. No, she shouldn't. Uh, how's Helena over here, Allie? It's fine with me. Yeah, but left, right, like, where should she be in relation to her sisters? Whatever you think. I don't like Allison like this. Mrs. S is always sneaky. Can't she just, like, say what she's doing? Are you sure about this? Wouldn't it be safer if the others knew? Yeah, probably. Again, again with the eye patch and the wrapped head, Rachel. Felix and I actually got some serious- Sarah's trying to get you drunk. Secret. Where did he put all of his furniture? His whole, his whole apartment's just filled with- Where did your, where'd your stuff go? Colin. Hello, Felix. Oh, you're back. Hello. Foster sister, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Do you, you call him then? Cool. Very cool. You all right? Yes, I, I just keep saying British things. That book is about your life? Yes. I want to read that book. Gracie, you're awful. I found her. No. Good job, Gracie. Redeem I yourself. Find her. I love you. She didn't say I love you back. Cassina is dropping off, Scott. Maybe you could use us. Make it part of the show. Show business, yes. Allison, you're still a little bit like Allison. Yeah, dance it out, girl. Just dance. That's what comes naturally. Or Ferdinand? Maybe. Who's Ferdinand? He killed my sister. Oh, oh yeah. That's a little awkward now. Probably shouldn't have said that. I gave Sarah her daughter back. I don't owe them anything. Rachel, come on! Uh-oh. Rachel's starting to twitch out. Rachel's gonna die, isn't she? Who's your daddy? Don't say that, that's gross. Don't say that, that's also gross. I like the feel to sing I love you to all the other clones. I love Adele. That's terrible. That's brutal. Then you're not gonna like this either. But Donnie, Curtis, Athena, goddess of war. I love you. Preparing flowers and guns, I'm intrigued. And crying while you write a letter, what's going on? Crazy. Oh, Helena's mad. I didn't tell them where you are. You did it. Do you use this phone? Yes. They're gonna trace you, stupid. I have a feeling Rachel switched out those USBs. Or did something. What's going on? File's not found. Yep. Oh, gotcha. Dang, Rachel. You just keep switching back and forth. I don't know. I love you, though. Seems to be some uh, technical difficulties. Ferdinand, you're gonna die. Well, he doesn't go down as easy as you thought. We have food for us. Come, Gracie, we have to go. No! People are hurting Elena! <laughs> I'm sorry. Gracie, I hate you. You're forgiven. They just shot her in the head. I'm glad we're ready to expose them. Are you serious? Yeah. It's done? I doubt it's done. There's two more episodes. Oh, Kasima, don't be cry. Be happy cry. That's good, though. But my mom... Siobhan, oh, this, no. this woman... Come I on. love that she was taking video of him. That was cute. We are who we are because she carried two little London urchins on her wings to Canada. Now it feels like S is gonna die. It feels like everyone's gonna die, though. Oh, she's hugging his biological sister. Uh-oh, Ferdinand's there. Rachel, run if you can. Okay. He's gonna kill you, though. No, you heartless. Oh, he's gonna kill you. This is creepy and weird. But seriously, stop ch stop choking here. It's probably not good to be choked out when you have like a brain injury and your eyes missing. Something in your head's gonna pop, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to race some hell with the wizard? Are you gonna say yeah? I just love that he's also a DJ. Hell wizard can spit mad rhymes. He knows you have the files. Be careful. Well, that's sweet, Rachel. Some one of you's gonna die. I just wanna put holes in you with this 45. Bigger than holes you could put in me. With that nine mil. 
won't make much a difference in the throat, love. Heh, <laughs> true. What have you done with my future? She just wasn't that into you. <laughs> burn, sick I'm burn. Oh, shadow file. I was there on that shelf over there when you stashed the gun I took this clip out of. Darn. Ugh. Well, the thing is, if you are going to stash a weapon, you should keep it close to you. Yeah, duh. That's just a little twist. I knew it was going to happen, but, like, it's seeing it's not fun. But serious question, why did she not, like, get back up? Oh. Not on your life. Huh? <laughs> in the throat. I mean, she's probably still going to die because it's just, you know, the end of the series. But, uh... Did shoot him in the throat. You know, as a woman, I'm 14% more likely to survive a gunshot wound than you. Oh, let's play the odds. Chickens. No, stop this. No. No, thank you. We're done here. Okay, now here's the thing. With most shows... You come up towards the end of the series, you're like, someone you love is going to die. So I was kind of prepared for this. I was really thinking it was going to be Rachel. But uh, that seemed almost too obvious because she's missing a chunk of her head. But I don't know. Like, early on, I'm like, mm, it's Mrs. S. So I don't think it shocked me as much, but it still is not fun and sucks. I mean, I'd like to say I don't think she's going to die just because on most shows, you know, you see someone like, I mean, Delphine got shot. And they try to pull the wool over everyone's eyes, and everyone's like, no, she ain't dead. So maybe, but I don't, I, she probably dead. It's the end of the series. And just a side note, I really liked that they showed where she got shot. Like, you couldn't be like, oh, maybe body armor. It's like, no, that's skin it went into. Basically, Mrs. S sent Ferdinand to go save Rachel because she knew what was going to happen because Rachel was going to get a target on her back. He fixes her up a little bit. I mean, enough. He, st he sticks some stuff in the eye hole and just, like, just put some gauze around it, and you're good. They send Kira and Charlotte to go stay with Art's ex just to kind of get him out of this episode for a while. Felix shows up with Adele after going abroad to go learn stuff, and he's like, oh, I'm immediately back, and there's an art show. And he's like, I don't want any of the clones there, because I just can't deal with the headache right now. Then we see that Gracie's with Helena, because, you know, she was looking for her to try and get Mark that cure. You think Helena's gonna stab her a little bit, but then Helena's like, no, we're family. That means something. Cosima and Scott have prepared a bunch of the cure for different clones, and they're still gonna make a bunch more, because they don't even know how many clones there are. Mrs. S is keeping secrets again because, come on, it's Mrs. S. And also, guess who she's keeping those secrets with? Delphine, another person that always keeps secrets. Their secret is, you know, they're working with Ferdinand because, you know, they sent him to go get Rachel and they want to get to Rachel because she actually does have all the files that could just completely blow the whole lid off of Dyad and Neil Lucian and everything. Gracie starts spending time with Helena and then, of course, she starts, like, seeing the humanized thing of, like, hey, maybe I shouldn't let this chick and her unborn babies get kidnapped and taken by Neil Lucian. So she lies to Mark and says she hasn't found Helena yet. But Mark, he knows something's up, and so does Cody. Felix realizes that, hey, all of his art is about the clone sisters, so he should do a little weird performance art thing of having each clone show up and be like each sister thing, and he could swap them out. Sarah's being way too freaking nosy, and I'm like, come on, you gotta get the pattern here. The pattern is S lies to you about something, you question it a lot, and then she ends up being right and doing the right thing, and then you're like, oh, sorry, Mom, and it happens, like, rinse, repeat. So just let S do what she's gonna do, Sarah. But instead, Sarah starts getting Adele drunk and trying to get information out of her. And like I said, Rachel has all the information that could blow the lid off of everything. And Ferdinand's like, you know what we could do instead? We could just show all this information to Neil Lucian peoples and then just blackmail them and get money from them forever. Rachel, on the other hand, wants to be free and just destroy Neil Lucian. And they're not quite seeing eye to eye on that. So when you have like Sarah and Mrs. S and the constant questioning and secrets keeping and it's making Sarah really mad, with Cosima and Delphine, they've kind of come to terms knowing that, okay, look, Delphine's going to keep secrets. It's usually for my best interest, so let's just let it be. And they kind of have a good, weird place they're at right now because of it. Sarah was badgering Adele for information. Adele kind of slips, oh yeah, some Ferdinand or whatever sounding name dude. She's, you know, Mrs. S and Delphine are working with. So Sarah's all mad about it. And then we see that Ferdinand takes the USB that he thinks has all the information on. And he goes to the board of all the Neolution peoples. And he's going to be like, look at all the evidence I have. Give me your money. And then, of course, Rachel, because she's got a little bit of a conscience sometimes... She took all the information off the USB and sent him there with no information, knowing that, you know, he's most likely going to die there. Except it's Ferdinand, and he's quick and he's got vaguely ninja-y skills, so he's able to get out of there without dying. Rachel has kept all the information and given it to Mrs. S, who in turn gives it to Delphine and Cosima to go release into the world. But we also see that Mrs. S is getting flowers ready and guns ready and writing a note while she's crying, so I was like, yeah, she knows she's going to die. 
Mrs. S finally goes to Felix's art opening, gives him some flowers, tells everyone that they finally got all the information they needed and that Cosima and Delphine are right now sending it out. And everything seems all happy and good, which is like the precursor to something horrible on every TV show. Felix does this speech at his art gallery talking about his sister and, and, and how they had a great mom who took them in and they were orphans and it just kind of recaps kind of their whole relationship and dynamic between the three of them. And it was really sweet, which again, lets you know something bad's gonna happen. We see that Ferdinand has come back to Rachel. He's really mad because, you know, she set him up and tried to kill him, basically. He chokes her out a little bit, but then kind of can't do it because they have some weird kinky dynamic. Back at the art gallery, we see that Felix is introducing Mrs. S to Colin, and it's kind of a sweet thing. Like, look, at we're interested in each other. I love you, Mommy. We're a happy family unit right now for, like, another half hour. Then Rachel calls Mrs. S at the party and tells her, oh, by the way, Ferdinand survived, and he's coming after you now because he knows you have the information. And instead of, like, I don't know, getting Art and some other people with guns and backup, Mrs. S is like, all right, I'm going to go to the house and face him. She goes there. They have a bit of a standoff. They, like, pretend to put their guns down and reach for other guns. and Different things happen. And it ends up with Ferdinand shooting her in the heart. She says she wants to look at a picture of her kids. And he's, like, acting like he's going to give it to her. But she was just distracting him because she was reaching in this cushion and gets another gun and shoots him in the throat. And he dies. And then it kind of just shows her drop the picture and stare blankly and then credits. So like I said, in the perfect world, the things I like to say, hey, if you don't see someone actually, like, get killed, die, and, like, their body burnt or something on a TV show, I like to pretend there's always a possibility they're alive, but I don't think it's the case this time. Now here's another thing. The, the, the lead-in for this episode, the, the previews that they showed last week and then again before this episode even, was like, this is too shocking, heartbreaking, blah, these, all these things. It's so, it's so, so much that we can't even show you anything in the trailer. And I'm like, first of all, that just says someone's going to die. Because in truth, the whole episode leading up to it wasn't that shocking or revealing too much that they couldn't have cut together a trailer. Because it really, the shocking stuff happens at the last few minutes when she gets shot. They could have just cut this whole trailer together and been like, oh, this is just a regular everyday episode. And then it's just got you at the end. I mean, it seriously almost felt like a trigger warning that just lets you know something awful is going to happen. So going into it, I, that's why I'm not, like, too broken up right now, because I knew it was someone was going to die. Someone important was going to die. It's kind of like when movie trailers, like, show the whole plot in the trailer, but the opposite. Because the fact that they didn't show anything told you it's going to get awful. And the fact that we got through the whole episode and nothing awful happened, I'm like, someone's going to die at the last minute. And it completely set up the thing, like, oh, Mrs. S going to get shot. Anyway, there's two more episodes left. And if they already killed off Mrs. S with two episodes left someone else is probably going to die. And I'm thinking it's Rachel because she's acting all brain twitchy and then she got choked out and all that stuff. Because seriously, when you get choked, you, the blood vessels in your eyes burst. And if you ain't got an eye, what is bursting in there? I'll be trying to get the last two episodes up within next week because my mom's coming and I want to watch the final episode with her. She's also not watching it. And so we're just really afraid. That, I don't know how I haven't been spoiled on anything and she hasn't. So that's where we are. We'll be watching it soon. And like I said, once I finish this whole season, I'll be getting to my comments because I got all paranoid about maybe getting spoilers in the comments. So if you have any back comments I haven't responded to, I'll get to you within the week. Well, in about a week. So uh, I guess it. If, if I forgot anything, left anything out, drop a comment. Don't forget to do the things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Until next time.